Hello? My name is Moon Su Park, the director of Top Urology Clinic, Seoul, Korea. Today I am going to explain why a diet for a genetic disease called Lefsum disease is also useful for prostate cancer patients. This is a picture of a prostate tissue biopsy. The dyed red is an enzyme called alpha methylacyl racemase in short, amica. Unlike normal cells, prostate cancer produces this protein without exception. So, it is used to diagnose prostate cancer pathologically. I was curious. Why is prostate cancer making this protein? Amica is an enzyme, essential for the metabolism of branched chain fatty acids, including phytanic acid. Common fatty acids, are composed of carbons, linked in one row. Fatty acids with four methane group attached, are phytanic acid. Phytanic acid cannot be metabolized directly in the mitochondria, and only after amica removes the branches, it can be used, as an energy source. In this process, hydrogen peroxide, a dangerous free radical, is generated. Phytanic acid, not only provides the energy, needed for cancer to grow, but also make it aggressive, by damaging DNA from free radicals. Therefore, a diet that limits your intake of these fatty acids, will be beneficial, in inhibiting the progression of prostate cancer. And, there was another disease, in which you should never eat these fatty acids. In 1946, a Norwegian neurologist, Dr. Lefsom, reports a rare genetic disease leading to death before the age of 30, due to the loss of peripheral nerve functions, including the optic and auditory nerves. It is called Refsum disease after his name. After as many as 30 years, scientists found that congenital loss of enzymes involved in the metabolism of phytanic acid, including amica is the cause. The elevated level of phytanic acid in these patients damage the nerve tissue. For them, a diet that limits these fatty acids is the only effective treatment that determines life or death. Although it is a rare disease, researchers accumulated over a long period, and the precise method of diet is well established. Phytanic acid is derived from chlorophyll. Chlorophyll present in nature, is decomposed into phytol by intestinal bacteria of herbivorous animals, and by zooplankton and krill. Since humans cannot directly digest these fatty acids from chlorophyll, we get indirectly from the fats of these animals. Cow, goat, lamb's fat, and dairy products made from their milk, are high in phytanic acid. They are also high in fatty fish, such as salmon, herring, and mackerel. In particular, even with the same dairy products, organic cows raised by grazing, have a much higher content of these fatty acids, than cows fed a feed such as corn. Let us take a closer look at the Refsum diet. They recommend a food swap. It is not a negative diet, that says not to eat some food, but a positive diet, that encourages you to eat these foods instead. There are no phytanic acids in omnivores, such as pigs, chickens, and ducks. Therefore, instead of beef, with many phytanic acids, you should eat pork, or duck meat. Instead of oily fishes, like salmon, or tuna, try eating less oily seafood, like cod, shrimp, or abalone. Instead of milk, drink fat-free milk, or soy milk. And eat fat-free, or soy, or coconut-based cheese, and yogurt. Humans cannot directly decompose, and absorb phytanic acids, from chlorophyll. Therefore, vegetables, fruits, grains, and nuts, which are known to be suitable for prostate cancer, are entirely free of phytanic acid. So, is the theoretically woven refsum diet, effective against prostate cancer? We will apply it, back to the previously published researches on a prostate cancer diet. Unfortunately, there has been only one prospective study, involving the intake of phytanic acids. Although indirectly measured phytanic acid intake, was not associated with local prostate cancer, but it was correlated with, advanced prostate cancer. Since normal prostate cells cannot use phytanic acid, eating much phytanic acid will not lead to prostate cancer. 
This study is consistent with the rationale, that the intake of phytanic acids promotes cancer progression, rather than developing prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is closely related to milk, and other dairy consumption. However, meat, which is said to be bad for prostate cancer, and fish, which is said to be beneficial, do not show as much association as dairy products. Since both milk, and dairy products come from only the herbivorous animals, they are inevitably high in phytanic acids. In contrast, meat includes both herbivorous animals, with a lot of phytanic acids, and omnivores, without phytanic acids. There are many differences in the content of phytanic acids, depending on the type of fish. Therefore, we can nicely explain why dairy products are most associated with prostate cancer. How does pork meat, have a relationship with prostate cancer? I could not find a related paper. So I will infer it indirectly. This is an illustrated map of meat consumption, and prostate cancer. The blue map on the left, is the incidence of prostate cancer. The upper right red map, shows total meat consumption, and the lower green map, shows pork meat consumption. As expected, meat consumption, and prostate cancer, seem to be proportional, at first glance. Countries with high meat consumption, have more prostate cancer. However, pork is a little different. China, where pork consumption is highest, has less prostate cancer. Conversely, Australia, and New Zealand, where pork consumption is low, have a lot of prostate cancer. Racial differences might be the cause, so let's narrow it down to Europe. The map on the left, shows the incidence of prostate cancer, and the map on the right, shows the consumption of pork. How is it? To me, prostate cancer and pork consumption, seem to be inversely proportional. Spain, Italy, and Eastern Europe, where pork consumption is high, have less prostate cancer, while France, UK, and Sweden, where pork consumption is low, have more prostate cancer. Pork consumption, may not be related to prostate cancer. There have been conflicting findings. Calcium is known as a representative nutrient, that promotes the progression of prostate cancer. However, in detail, calcium intake through food, is related to cancer, but calcium supplements, are not. It may be not calcium, but phytanic acid, concentrated in dairy products, that harms prostate cancer. There are also conflicting results, of studies on the omega-3 fatty acid. Some studies suggest that, it is suitable for prostate cancer, while the others claim that, it is not. Omega-3 fatty acid, is mainly made of cheap fish oil, which has very highly concentrated phytanic acid. Some products are made by refining omega-3 fatty acid only. However, others are fish oil itself, packaged and sold as an omega-3 fatty acid. Therefore, their effect on prostate cancer, will depend on how much phytanic acid, is in the products. Finally, here is a study, that gave confidence in refsum diet. The incidence of prostate cancer in Spain, was evenly distributed across the country. However, only in the region of Galicia, in northwestern Spain, the mortality rate of prostate cancer, under the age of 65, was high. The authors of the thesis, analyzed the cause from various angles, but they were unable to explain this strange phenomenon. However, I can find the answer, in one nutritional paper. The region of Galicia, in Spain, was a unique nutritionally. Due to the Mediterranean climate, organic dairy farming is possible, 365 days a year, and coastal fishing, is well developed. It is said to have the highest intake of phytanic acid. Could there be evidence, that more clearly shows the link, between phytanic acids and prostate cancer? No matter how good your diet is, if it's hard to keep, it will not work. Refsum diet, is a way of replacing food with other foods, rather than restricting them, making it easier to continue. In addition to being in line with the previously reported prostate cancer dietary studies, we were able to explain, some of the conflicting research results. Phytanic acid is neurotoxic at high concentrations. Humans have evolved in a way, 
that they cannot absorb phytanic acids directly from plants. Aside from prostate cancer, ref some diet, that adapts to evolution, will benefit our bodies. Thank you, for your attention.